Hey, hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Saturday, where we are currently playing Fallout. Um, I feel like that may be a better intro, so I don't forget which episode number it is. <laughs> um, last time we explored Junk Town, um, and we cleared it up of uh, Gizmo and his associates, I guess. Um. And we also got rid of stuff. The skulls gang. Yeah. Um. So this time we shall be heading off to the hub. And uh, entering. The entrance. It's night. There's a couple of uh, backs of cars. Who advises us to uh, put away our weapon? Probably for the best. that no one's really that friendly. I mean, it is night time. And... Well, everywhere's closed. But, a shifty character. So, what you doing in the hub? Why? Well, do you look like a businessman? And I'm a businessman. And I thought we could uh, discuss uh, business. Um. Well, what do you do around here? I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I get things and information for people. Whatever they might need or we'll be looking for. Um. Anything you can tell me about specifically? So you're looking for information, huh? Being a respectable businessman, I've got to look at I've got to head. But I need a few cats to tell you what you need to know. Now that we've got that straight, what do you want to know about? Uh, anything you know about water chips that you can tell me? So, you think I might know a little bit? <clears throat> so, you think I might know a little more about these water ships things? Hmm. Well, you might be right. It's gonna cost you, though. I think 500 bolt caps ought to do it. Hmm. And we do have 500 bolt caps. However, I'm, I'll give you 400 instead. Now, now, I wouldn't be the man I am if I gave information away for less than it's worth. Come back when you've got the caps. Well, we do have the caps, but it doesn't seem all that trustworthy. Bob, proprietor of Bob's Iguana Bits. Hi, welcome to Bob's Iguana Bits, the family eating place. Can I take your order? Uh, what, what can you tell me about a water chip? <laughs> Never seen any of them around here. Water merchant, merchants don't need them. Water merchants? You must be new in town if you're asking me about the water merchants. Water is life. 
and you don't get much more powerful than life and death. Um, anything interesting happening in the hub? Well, the only new thing is that the children of the cathedral has taken over the hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Anything else? Uh, give me a guana on a stick. Oh, got a whole guana on a stick for 20 bucks. And our prime select pieces for eight. Uh, I'll take one of the prime cuts. One of a prime select choice coming up. Anything else? Uh, nothing. Bye. So we bought a uh, guanara stick. Some charred meat and vegetables on a cooking stick. But it doesn't look like a guan. I mean, it's on the same sort of stick, but. How did they get so much meat? Well... <laughs> Surprisingly, we'll uh, find an answer... <clears throat> um, back in Junktown. And so, returning to the hub... We meet with Doc Morbid. And down the ladder in the back, we can talk to, I assume, his assistant. What are you down here for? Uh, um, to see how you're doing. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, what, what are you doing? Body parts. Almost ready to go to hub. Uh, uh for what? For Bob to sell. To eat. Why you ask what we use for? I wasn't sure this was where Bob got his human meat from. Yes, Doc Morbid has best human bodies around. None better. Um, uh, I'll be back to pick up the bodies in a little while. Goodbye. So this is where... And Guana Bob gets his meat. Interesting. So, turning upstairs. Good. Speak with Doc Morbid. I know about you and Iguana Bob, you filthy butcher. Uh, uh, what, what could you possibly mean? A little conversation with your troll. Look shiftily from side to side. That proves nothing. Gretch is a little low in the head. No one listens to him around here. You'd best leave. And you can't really do anything else. So, returning to the hub. And so, returning to uh, Bob. Uh, I think we need to talk about Doc Morbid and some of your secret ingredients. What, what, what are you talking about? Uh, your secret ingredients. How fresh does the corpse have to be before it develops a bitter aftertaste? Do you use mutants, humans, or a mix? No, not so loud. I don't need you saying that all over the hub. You know, the police station is just across the street. I really should take a little walk. Wait, wait a moment. <clears throat> We've got to find a way to reach a mutual understanding. Uh, fine. What can I get out of this? Fine. What do you want me to pay? Um... I mean, if we wanted to be uh, a uh, bad person, I, I 
you could uh, ask for a decent bit of money every uh, few days. You know, just to uh, keep quiet. Um, and I mean, if we wanted to be a really good person, we could just uh, not decide to blackmail. But, you know, we, we have um, things to do. So, uh, I want 50 bucks every five days. Fine, steal. 50 bucks do every five days. I guess I'll see you in five. And so, every five days, we can return and get some buns. <laughs> See a bullet to board. Need work? The Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. Number one, caravan guards. Must be in good physical condition and dependence. Two, special position. Must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire with Rutger, the Bargo Trader Office. Huh. Anything else? Well, it's probably best to wait until day, and so we'll wait until morning. We can explore a bit better, considering that most places are now likely open. So, the general store. And then we see Mitch of the All in One Store. Now, can I help you today? Uh, I'd like to buy sink. Great, here's what I have. And it opens up barter. Here's some stim packs, Geiger counter, some mentats, motion sensor, a big book of science, Dean's electronics, first aid book. Scout Handbook, Psycho, Super Stimback, some rope, Nuka Cola, a tool, radio, some right away, <clears throat> some flamethrower fuel, some bottle cups to trade with, and that's it. And we we know what uh, not having some rope on us did. Uh, before, so uh, it may be a good idea to, uh, you know, just uh, just in case. And that's it. So we have to think about the water merchants. See them around here. Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps we can find out more here. See Lorenzo. Well, if it is a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo. The benef beneficent at your service. <clears throat> I give out loans, only 10% daily interest, a maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution. Uh, actually, I was hoping you could um, <clears throat> share some information. Well, I suppose. What do you need to know about? Um, where does a person find work around here? You should try Mr. Decker. 
<laughs> Exciting work at great prices. The best in town. He's just across the street. You can't get better convenience than that. Uh, tell me about Decker. He's a great guy. Good sort of jobs to pay off loans. Tell him I sent you. You might get a bonus. B bonus? What do you mean? Well, maybe not a bonus. But he's a great guy. Trust me on that. Um. Well, bye. Well, you know, it may be a good idea to look for work, just, just in case. So, uh... Heading across the street to the Maltese bank when... Um... Oh, maybe, maybe talk to this guy. I've heard of you. You're the one that took out Gizmo over in Junktown. Kelly must have paid you a good sum for that job. Are you here for some work, maybe? Uh, the... No, what's the job? What's it pay? It's not skag work. You'll need to do it quick and clean. The boss will give you details, but it's more money than you'll make in a month. <clears throat> Working with caravans, but only if you're good enough. We don't take kindly to failures if you know what I mean. Um, sounds good. I'm sure you're familiar with our sort of business, so let me just say it. It would be in your best interest to keep this to yourself, shall we? And we... So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, but where are my manners? What's your name? Uh, I'm Albert. Well, the pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? That, that's why I'm here. Background. There's a certain merchant who's, how to phrase this, not cooperating fully with the underground. And the job? Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife and exterminate them. You mean kill them? All a matter of semantics, but yes, kill them. Will you take the job? Um, sure, why not? Oh, excellent. The standard pay is 500 scripts to open. And another 2,500 to close. Where can I find this merchant? They live in the Heights on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Complete the job in return. Okay, I will. Quite excellent. My assistant will remunerate you on the way out. Please, close the door behind you. And we return. Well, we're trying to be... Uh... Good upstanding citizen. So, uh. Perhaps it would be best to, uh. report this to the, uh. local authorities. We see Sheriff Justin Green. Hello, sir. The name's Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Is there something I can do for you this fine day? Um, I have a crime to report. Well, spit it out. <clears throat> Decker hired me to try to kill some merchant and his wife. You're kidding. Well, uh, did, did he ask you personally? Yes, he did. Excellent. I'd already heard from another sources about his plan. You're the final confirmation I need to take action against him. It's going to be rough. And I can use any help I can get. May you... 1,300 scripts? 300 now? And the rest when we're all done. What do you say? It'd be a pleasure. Great. Here's the first part of your payment. Sheriff hands you 300 caps. <clears throat> we can leave as soon as you're ready. Okay. Well, uh... Making sure that we've uh, equipped a weapon... Speak with him again. Ready to go take out Decker? Yes. And we're back here.
Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your vault will now surely die, as you have. Well, that didn't turn out well. Let him scan. for a third time maybe this time a little more explosive Number four. <laughs> Attempt number five. <laughs> Number six. Temp number seven. Number eight. Attempt number nine. Attempt number ten. Attempt number eleven. Number 12. Attempt number 13. Attempt number 14. Number 15. Attempt number 16. I, I mean, um, when we get to uh, the uh, point where we go, it, it, it's a pleasure. We, we, we could, um, say no way you're on your own I, I mean we, we, we had um 16 attempts and uh hopefully we, we can leave it open 
when we uh, get stronger. But hey, we, we get the first part of the payment anyway. Let me know when you're ready. We'll wait for you, but don't take too long. Okay. Well, uh... Let's, uh... Look around a bit more and... Maybe we'll find this... These water merchants, which... But at the uh, Fargo Traders, let's see where I go. Hello and welcome to Fargo Traders. How may we help you? Um... Can you transport water? Well, we can transport water, but it will cost you. How much do you need and where is it going? Uh, I, I need enough to supply a vault. It's up north, past Junktown, in the mountains. A whole vault? You nuts? We don't have that kind of access to that much water. Plus, I wouldn't want to go into those mountains. We've had enough permission caravans. Uh, you don't? Is there someone else who can? Oh, sorry, you're not from around here. The water merchants handle all the damn water in this town. I wouldn't even try, even bother trying to deal with them. They're a bunch of vultures. Where would I find them? You can't miss them. They're south of here, all barricaded in that damn water tower. So, what do you do around here? I'm in charge of the... I mean, I help run the Fargo traders. If anyone messes with us, I'm the one they answer to. We trade wares between all the different settlements. Um, great. What about that job that was posted? You look for work, are you? You look alright. Well, I should probably talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. So, go through the door behind him. What do you want? Um, I, I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? What job? Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. So, what do you want me to do? Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Any clues on who's doing this? Well, there's, uh, <clears throat> something, but I never listen to those rumors. Well, I do. What is it? You, uh, you really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw, but, but I don't know nothing about that. Uh, how do I find out about the Death Claw? How do you... Go talk to Beth. She knows more about that crap. Uh, I'll go check it out. Done and done. Now get on out of here. But come back and talk to me when you found something. So we need to talk to Beth. Beth is the one who runs the gun store. I have opened it enough times to actually uh, <laughs> try to... Um, can I ask you some questions? Oh, uh, what's the word on the street about missing caravans? Some people think the water merchants are responsible. I don't think so. I think it was that darn death claw. Or maybe the people over at the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, what exactly is a death claw? Death claw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some say it's a powerful ghost from the wall that haunts the land. It's no ghost. It's as real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. <clears throat> it's some kind of demon that found its way here when the world was engulfed in fire. Uh, do you know anything else about the Deathclaw? Well, I know this old mutant in Old Town named Harold. He's seen it. He's the only one that's seen it and lived. The only one that's seen it and lived? Uncle Slappy over in an old town talks about it sometimes. He's just a crazy old fool. Um, uh, another question about the missing caravans. Why do you think it was the Brotherhood of Steel? Why? Don't you know? 
I heard they make human sacrifices, do all sorts of other terrible things. Really? I had no idea. <clears throat> you never know what a person is free to light behind closed doors. So be careful with who you associate yourself with. Is there anything else you need? Uh, another question about the missing caravans. Why don't you think it's the water merchants? Because, like I've been telling everyone, they've had a few caravans to spear too. And nothing like what's happening to the Fargo traders, but they are being affected. Why would it happen to go to the Fargo traders more than the others? Bad luck? I don't know. Maybe they're travelling along different routes than the others. Maybe because they aren't as heavily guarded as the Crimson Caravan, but they might have better cargo than the water merchants. Who knows? There doesn't seem to be any clear difference between the three. Um, thanks. I have to go. So. We had Sal. We can uh, talk to these water merchants. I mean, we could if there was someone in there. Anyone in here? say we need new parts oh yes sorry what can i do for you do you have a water chip water chip hmm oh there's old vault purifying control chips well i'm sure i speak for the entire town when i say you won't find one here but proper equipment they're worthless only a vault or maybe necropolis would have any useful one why do you ask hmm Necropolis? Why would they need one? Well, it's just a guess, really. We tried to start a caravan route to Necropolis once, but they refused to trade with us. And nobody in their right mind refuses water these days, unless they have the, a reliable supply. I figure they must have their own purifier, or they've died up a long time ago. So you looking to have an upgrade to your vault? I... yes. How much is it going to cost me? Well, it's quite a distance away. 2,000 caps. Good cover. The initial caravan. And I'm sure your vault will have stuff to trade to keep us going for a while. However, with our current reserves, I'm guessing that we will only be able to keep your vault going for an extra 100 days or so? Hmm. Uh, I mean... An extra hundred days would certainly be useful. Um, but two thousand caps is quite a bit. Um, I mean, we have a decent charisma. Uh, the vault should be able to take care of most of your initial payment. Uh, why don't it give you a thousand caps instead to start? That sounds fair enough. Technology from the vaults can fetch a pretty good, pretty good price down here in the hub. <clears throat> okay, I can start sending the caravan up to your vault today. And now you ought to know the caravans are pretty visible going across the desert. So send the caravans out there is way is going to paint a pretty good picture for anyone that may be looking for your vault. Are you still sure you want to send them out that way? Well, I mean... Well, I'm, I'm sure they could survive. I, I mean, clearly no one's left before, have they? Um, the, yeah, yeah, the vault needs water. Okay, they'll start off in a few day hours. So, Acropolis has a water trip. And we've, um, 
manage to gain an extra 100 days. Um, but we still have uh, some work to do, so let's uh, see about these Fargo traders' uh, missing caravans. So, heading back north. Then to the east. Yeah, east. So, uh, searching around. We have a uh, flappy. Ooh, pretty, pretty stuff. Why is the moon? Uh, Beth told me to talk to you about the death plots. Beth, Beth. Shoo. Sha, Beth. Like Harold. You talk Harold. Harold tell you story. Slap your help then. Okay, I'll talk to Harold first. In the back room, we see Harold. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> uh, how, how about five dollars? Oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Why is that? <laughs> rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. Oh, what happened to you? Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. Uh, tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Well, what did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants, son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Didn't the guards help? Of course, they helped, you bonehead. Just too damn many to handle. How did you survive the mutant attacks? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> Love that joke. Uh huh. Yeah. We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. And what was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How did you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. What happened then? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and... Well, I passed out. How did he survive? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. 
Yeah, I can tell. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How did you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. Uh, sorry, tough break. Thanks for the story. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Speaking with him again, I mean, we've got to find out about these death claws. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hi. Anything I can do for you? I need info on the Deathclaw, and I hear you're the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Gonna kill it. Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Any weaknesses? Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. What kind of problem? I can't look at them. It is said the death claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Great, thanks. Good luck to you. You're going to need it. Could be. Oh, hey, it's you. Anything I can do? Yeah, so, uh. Look with Harold. I mean, Slappy said to speak to Harold. Uh, I talked with Harold. The, uh, Death Claw sounds pretty nasty. What can you tell me about it? Death Claw, Death Claw. Da, death claw. Come on, what, what do you know about the death claw? Death claw, scary, really scary. Look neat though. Want to see it? You can take me to the death claw. Yeah, death claw, death claw. Go and see the death claw. Um, j just shut up and take me there. <laughs> and we appear at a cave. Um, so, venturing into the cave. We see something. And if, uh, any of the descriptions we were given is anything to go by. It may not be all too friendly. So. Sneaking closer. Making sure to, uh. Uh. Do, uh, normal instead of always running. And sneaking closer. We see a dying mutant. It's still alive. We were given some advice on how to deal with a uh, death claw. Aim for the eyes. And assuming we manage to defeat the death claw, we can uh, speak to the dying mutant. It was so fast. My brothers were gone. Could not help. H who are you? I'm 
I'm... I can't remember. Was the leader of... it? Maybe my holodisc. The master, the, the mutant, weakly hands you a bloody holodisc. Where did you come from? We... we were scouting for primes. Came from... from the northwest. Who sent you? Father, where are you, father? Yes, master. The mutant breathes his last breath and collapses. Taking a look at its inventory. Find a radio. <laughs> Unfortunately, the uh, battle with the Death Claw resulted in the death of Taika, so we now only have Ian. But still. Returning. Fargo Traders. Well, what do you got for me? There's mutants. What, do I look a great shy of a load? Did you even see the Death Claw? Been there, saw that, killed it. You, you killed it? Well, I, uh, um, uh, where did these mutants come from? I don't know yet, but they have an outpost in the mountains. An outpost? Well, um, well, uh, I'll have to talk to the committee. Yeah, yeah, they'll know what to do. Uh, done and done. G get out, because uh, I got stuff to do, okay? And speaking to Rutger, I found out what happened to the missing caravans. Really? So who are the bastards? The water merchants? Actually, it's a group of these huge mutants. Some huge mutants to destroy my caravans? It's almost as good as this Death Claw story. I'll check this holo disc out. I got off one of the radiant mutants. Hey, I know how to use one of those. But got some gizmo from some scout in the Brotherhood a long time ago. They can read these things. Let's see. Uh, sorry I didn't believe you. Uh, this does not bode well for the good guys. Well, here's your 500 hub bucks. Well, make it 800, and thanks for the information. You'll... If you need any more work, you'll always be welcome. And that's it for <clears throat> yeah. And that's it when it comes to uh, the Fargo Traders. Well, there's always a caravan, but for today that is all. Um, I thank you all for watching today. Um, so, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment. If you didn't like this video, comment saying why you didn't like this video. If it's due to the lamp, I'm sorry. There's, like, more to do in the hub and, you know, that's next time. Um, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye!